Dear hashed followers, in this video I will show you how you can activate an OPC server with the security policy non. And in the second step I will show you how you can acknowledge alarms over an OPC client. Let's start. In the tier portal I have activated that our panel operates as an OPC UA server. And if I now connect my OPC client, I use the UI expert to the panel. We see there is no non-security policy. We have the 128-bit or the 256-bit certificates are not non. To activate this on the panel, we need to open the semantic extensions. And you have also the possibility to open them remote with a browser. But here I will show it you on the panel directly. And to log in, I use a user I have created before and have, have it downloaded to the panel. After sign in, you see on the right, there are some, it's called templates for PC UA security settings. And here I'm selected the non policy. And in the next step, I will save and activate this policy. And it's updated successfully, but to see that it works, I need to reboot the panel. And after the reboot and the restart of the runtime, if I connect the UI expert again and do a rebrowsing, you will see now we have this non security policy, which I can use directly. I need still my user and a password so i use the same user this user has the right opc ua read and access i accept it that i will connect it and now i'm connect to my panel and to show you that it works i'm browsing here for tech which is connected to the gauge control search it it's in my case it's HMI tag 1 and if I now move the slider you will see in the client this tag is updated and if I modify it directly on the client the panel is updated. So this is working fine. Now I will show you how you can activate the non-security policy on the unified PC station. Um, the PC station is running or PC server is activated and if I connect the client it looks the same, the non-security policy is not there. Now I open the settings. You, you, maybe you know the settings from the video with the OPC UA port, so I need to adapt the same file. It's the OPC server RTEL. So if you open it with the OneNote, you will see here the port number, the default port you can edit. And if you scroll down, you see the security policies, like the 128-bit. And what we do is I copy the 128-bit and now add the non-security policy. And this was it. So if you save the file and restart, it will work. But if you scroll down, you see uh, the security policies, the non here is listed. If not, you need to add it here too. But you see also that the 128-bit has two policies or two security modes like signature and signature and encrypted. I remove, for example, here the signature to show you if you connect the client later on that you have also the possibility to remove like this 128 bit is too unsecure to you, you only want the 256 bit, so you have the possibility to edit it here, save it, and in the next step, we need to stop and restart the runtime server. So now it's running again. The runtime is running, and if I now do a refresh, we see that he add now the non security policy. And he has also removed the 128-bit 
signature. So I now add my user as before and store my password here. That's okay. Now I will connect my, okay, my mistake, I give both the same name. This is a little bit stupid, but it is the second one. I will connect it to the PC station and go browsing to the text and will manipulate like this flow value, which is connected to the trend control. And you see when I now enter the value displayed in the trend and if I use the slider to adapt it, he changed the value. So this is also working fine with the non-security policy. Since V17 unified, uh, the OPC UA server works as an alarm and condition server too. So we don't need to activate anything else. What I doing here is now I open the event viewer and I need to track and drop the runtime station as the server. Now all the alarms which are available on the server are mapped to my OPC client. At the moment it's only one alarm that my PLC is not connected. I trigger two bit alarms and if I go back to the OPC client, you see, okay, here are my um, alarms in the event window, but I need to switch to the alarm window. And here I have the possibility to acknowledge the alarms of an OPC client. You see, this is now acknowledged. And if the value is gone, the alarm is gone. This alarm is gone, but needs to be acknowledged. So if I now acknowledge it. And you see the alarms is working. Um, if you work with multi-language, so I have switched the language, now my alarms are in German. Uh, but you see on the OPC client, they are still display in English. So this has nothing to do with the language which is available on the server. It's depending on the client settings. Um, if you use the UI expert, you need to change the general language ID. If you have a different OPC client, you need to check um, what language ID you need to set. You see here it's the English is the default. If I change it to German and save it, it's still in English. You need to reconnect to your server. And you see now the alarms are here displayed in German too. And we can acknowledge them in the same way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you until next time. Bye.